One of the remarkable things about a honeybee colony is how uh, it evolves over the course of the year. The honeybee is unique. Uh, it's the only social uh, bee that is able to overwinter in a cold climate. In winter climates, brood rearing stops in the fall and those bees that are in the hive in the fall need to survive until the following spring. When the flowers are blooming, they forage for nectar, they convert it into honey and they store that. And that's the fuel that they use to generate heat during the winter to keep the cluster warm. A very select few of the bees are social and honeybees are kind of one of the pinnacles of that. A honeybee colony is considered a superorganism, meaning the entire colony is, is really one individual being. Uh, they can be moved in and out of orchards and fields that require insect pollination for seed and then fruit set. And so honeybees are really indispensable for about a third of everything we eat. The apiculture industry has about 2.4 million beehives nationwide and about a third of them die off every winter, which is very, very problematic. When I first heard the hypothesis that the uh, neonicotinoid insecticides were causing CCD, boy, that, that resonates. I mean, I go, wow, great, their chemical company, oh you know, God, you know, that, uh, evil incarnate, you know, at, uh, putting all these insecticides out here, it's gotta be the cause. So I started investigating it to make a case against them. And <laughs> to my amazement, I, I came to totally the opposite conclusion. I, I believe that the primary reason we're losing bees is this whole parasitic mite syndrome, which is all of the problems that the bees encounter as a result of high levels of varroa infection. Public enemy number one when it comes to beekeepers is the varroa mite, which is uh, an exotic pest introduced into the U.S. in the mid-1980s, and our bees don't really have any natural defenses to them. We started this season with unusually high mite populations, and all of us beekeepers saw higher levels of mites. Concentrations of bees in one small area definitely facilitates Varroa's expansion. The main miticide used by commercial beekeepers to suppress mite levels was unavailable for a while this summer. So many commercial beekeepers were unable to treat their their colony for mites appropriately and mite levels went way up. So coming up with different management plans for beekeepers to try and keep those mite levels in check is, is really um, a high priority for the industry. When we're talking about varroa and bee health, what we're really talking about is virus management. But if you can keep the vector population down, the varroa population down, then for, the viruses are not normally as much of an issue.